In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an SD card as an extra hard drive on your Windows computer. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. We publish computing related videos all the time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you've already done that, thanks. Some time ago, we published a video showing you how you can import your photos from a camera SD card into your computer. In this video, we're going to show you how you can take that same SD card and turn it into an extra hard drive. This is especially helpful if you have a computer with a smaller solid state drive where you might be running out of room to store things. So let's dig into it and see how to make an SD card an extra hard drive. Today, I'm using a 16 gigabyte SD card. There are much larger cards which you can use as a hard drive, but this will be a good example. If your computer already has an SD card slot, insert the card, it only fits in one way, and we'll be ready to go. If your computer doesn't have a card reader, but has a USB-C port, you can use an adapter like the one I'm showing here. Plug your card into the adapter and then plug the other end into your computer's USB-C port. Now, open Windows Explorer. Find the SD card. In our case, it's the F drive, but it may be a different letter for you. The first thing we need to do with it is check the formatting. Right-click on the drive and on the menu find Format. Click there and the format window appears. If the file system is FAT32, tap the drop-down menu and change the setting to NTFS. Next, rename the volume label. Make sure there is a check mark in Quick Format. Finally, hit the Start button. Windows will warn you that everything is going to be deleted. Click OK to start formatting the SD card. Windows notifies you when it's finished. Our next step is to create a mounting space. In the search field, search for Disk Management. At the top, click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. At the bottom of the new window, find your SD card. Right-click on the card and choose Change Drive Letter and Paths. Next, hit Add. Make sure Mount in the following empty NTFS folder is picked and hit Browse. Tap New Folder and rename the new folder to anything that you want. Hit the Enter key to finish the renaming and then the OK button. Then hit OK again. You can now close the Disk Management window. Our next move is to include the folder in a library so it's easier to reach. Find the folder you just created in the left column, right-click, and choose Include in Library. At this point, I always click on Create New Library. You can look and see the new library listed so you know you were successful. The SD card is empty, so let's put something in it. We navigate to our tutorial page, 4kcc.com forward slash help, and click on email. We'll choose how to create rules in Microsoft Outlook. When the tutorial appears, we see we can download a written copy of the procedure. In the Adobe PDF which appears, we hit the download icon, navigate to the library, and select SD underscore HD underscore 001 and then save. Of course, that's our name. You can choose whatever name you want. Going back in Windows Explorer, we open the F drive and we see the file we just downloaded. Congratulations! Everything is working as it should. By the way, right-clicking on the SD card gives us the normal options for a hard drive. If you're using Windows 10 Pro, you'll see the option to encrypt everything on the card using BitLocker. 
You also see that you can scan with your antivirus and do other normal hard drive activities. To make things easier on yourself, you can adjust storage settings so that all new items in a particular category are automatically stored on your SD card hard drive. Here's how. Search for storage. At the top, open storage settings. When the new window opens, choose change where the new content is saved. Next, hit the drop down menu for whichever area you want. Change to the SD drive and then click apply. In my example, all new documents will be saved on the F drive. That's it for this video. If you learned anything new, please hit the like icon. And don't forget to leave a comment.